What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your mouse glossy the easy way. This method includes absolutely no sanding. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. All right, let's talk about what you'll need. The first thing are some screwdrivers. The next thing is some auto sole or probably any other brand metal polish, a drill, a microfiber cloth, some new mouse feet or skates, some type of all purpose or glass cleaner. And lastly, and probably the weirdest one of all, a cone polishing wheel. At least I think that's what this is called. I don't really know. If you need any of these items, I'll put all of the Amazon links in the description below. So just check there. Before we get into the thick of it, I just want to say I'm sorry for how I filmed this video. I wasn't expecting to make like a tutorial. The original idea for this video was to show how I revived this G Pro wireless. I bought it secondhand and uh, it was definitely worse for wear. One of the problems with this G Pro wireless was that its coating was glossy in some parts because it had been heavily used by its previous owner. But in my quest of reviving the mouse I somehow came across polish in my uh, in my garage and I thought I would give it a go and it just worked so yeah a lot of the shots in this video were not formed to be a tutorial but with that being said I figure it's better to show you the real footage of me doing it instead of just sitting here and telling you how to do it all right let's get into it the first thing you need to do is take your mouse apart I'm not going to show you how to do this because I don't even know what mouse you have. If you're looking for a tutorial on your specific mouse, just search it on YouTube. Alright, once your mouse is in pieces, you want to go ahead and clean it. It probably isn't all that necessary, but since it's a part, you may as well do it. Alright, step 3 is to identify all of the parts that need polishing. For instance, in my G Pro wireless, there is an exoskeleton inside of this. That doesn't get seen, that doesn't need to be polished. There is this entire base plate that's already glossy. I don't need to do that. You may also realize that your side buttons aren't able to be done. It can be tricky because they are often small and fragile. Once you've identified those parts that need polishing, you want to separate them from the rest. Step four is to start polishing. To do that, you want to grab a bit of your metal polish and apply it directly to the mouse parts that you're going to be polishing or directly to this cone thing. With the drill, you are then going to spin the cone and along the way, polish the mouse. Whilst doing this, make sure that you polish from every angle and inside every little nook and cranny of that mouse piece. Alright, after about a minute or two of polishing, you want to grab your microfiber cloth, then you want to clean the excess polish off, and of course buff it at the same time using your microfiber. When I say buffing, I literally just mean like that. <laughs> Once it's all cleaned and buffed, you want to go ahead and search the part to make sure that all of it is glossy. In my case, right next to the scroll wheel was really hard to get glossy. So if you have that issue, go ahead and put more polish on and focus on the area that's not glossy. If the entire part is glossy, you want to go ahead and move on to another part. If all of the parts are glossy, you want to go ahead and give them a little bit of a bath. All you're trying to do with this bath is get rid of any excess polish. It usually builds up on the underside of polished parts as well, so make sure you clean there. Once those parts are all dry, go ahead and reassemble your mouse and buff it. And just like that, your mouse should be glossy. Hopefully this was helpful. This is how I did my mouse, so I figured I should pass it on. 